It's not often that you get to buy a wrecked superbike of this magnitude, but that's exactly what we got, a 2022 BMW S1000 RR race package. And we've slowly brought it back from the dead over the last four weeks. And it's given us a fair set of challenges so far. But now is the final parts, so stay tuned. So after painting the fairings in the last episode, they came up awesome, but I still wanted to improve them. So I took them to Clean Ride Brisbane, he cut them, polished them, and now we're back to the workshop to put them on. probably wondering why I've stripped the bike down again. Well, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm nowhere near finished. Even though it looked pretty cool in the previous image, it's got a lot to do. So first thing we want to do is fix the trail on the front forks. And I've bought something very cool. Something I've never done before. I've got some inserts for the, uh, the triples to offset the triple by two or four millimeters. So let's get them on. And then we've also had another awesome package arrive from Germany. So. Action stations. So the offsets come in two sizes, sorry, two offsets. We've got a two mil offset and a four mil offset. We're gonna go with the four mil. We wanna push this as far forward as possible. Now, if you look at the bottom of the triple, you can see that currently it's at a zero, it's at a, a middle position. So we're going to undo these two bolts here, slide it out. We should be able to just put the new sleeve in, put it back in, torque it down to I think 18 or 22, and that should be the bottom triple fixed. Setback. 
Now I've actually sent me the wrong ones. So if you have a look, these two have got different diameter holes. The black one, the OEM one, the original one, fits nice and snug. This one, way too big, loose. It's obviously for the wrong bike. They've got to come from Italy. That's another two weeks to get it here. I've still got the bike booked in at BMW to get it uh, diagnosed electrically. And that's another few hundred dollars down to Gurgler. But lesson learned, pay more attention when you're ordering stuff online. What a bummer. What an absolute bummer. What a massive setback too. Right, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to put it back together and we'll focus on some other bits and pieces. Man. So here's the issue. The issue is the Robbie Moto sleeve they sent me, the adjustable offset top triple, has actually got a gap from the OEM. Well, not from the OEM, but if you look at this, you can see that gap. There should not be a gap around there. So we've contacted uh, Robbie Moto and Omnia Racing to see if they can send us the correct top sleeve for the offset there. If they can't, then we get another solution. A friend of mine is a fabricator. I'm gonna see if he can make me on his CNC router a sleeve which would go over that perfectly and tie it all in nice and, nice and snug. But let's get the bike back together now because it's time for the wheels to go on and check this out. So this is our old wheel. Not exactly round anymore, absolutely destroyed. This is our new one that's just arrived yesterday, last night. Went over to Motor Garage and got the new tire fitted onto that. So that's awesome. And then we've got another rear tire sitting over here. So we'll switch out the rear as soon as we can get the bike mobile again. So let's get that done. Slight change of topic, uh, or change of bike, I should say. I was at the track the other day and my Panty V4, my white one, this beauty here, started leaking heaps of fuel from the tank. So I took the tank off and, weirdly enough, just on the, um, the lip here on both sides, it had actually cracked. So I don't know what happened since the last time I rode this bike, but it just quite literally split down the seam of the weld of the tank. So I took it to my friend, who does all my welding for me, and he uh, fixed it all up, welded both sides. So now what I've got to do is actually prep this tank uh, for more paint, because the paint now looks absolutely horrible. It's been covered in fuel. Um, I was quite lucky, to be honest, that I didn't blow up, because I'd just gone through scrutineering. Scrutineering said the bike was fine. I was pulling back into the pits to put the tire warmers back on, and then someone said to me, whoa, 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 this thing's leaking heaps of fuel. And it was just pouring out, so, um, yeah, it must have been a pressure thing or maybe just from the original crash. 
it had developed weakness in that section of the tank and maybe the trailer ride to the track uh, went over some bumps and, and knocked it loose. Who knows, but either way it's fixed now so I've got to get this tank prepped, get it back on the bike and get this bike running because we're going to be on track shortly with this bike. literally waiting for paint to dry. I stopped at Mona Mia, pick up some more performance parts for this baby. Okay, Maddie, what do you got for me, man? All right, mate. Wow, well, very we well. Have our jet prong switch. Sweet. Awesome. We're gonna get it open. Get rid of that blasted key. <clears throat> I'm not even sure I'll put that on until I actually fix the uh, electrical issue, but at least we've got it. Won't take it out, but yeah, it's quite That's nice. That's cool. Start stop button. Awesome. Nice one. Um, CNC, carbon, brake, clutch, reservoir. Carbon. That's going to go nice with all of the other carbon on the bike. Sweet. Yeah, new tank grips. Tank grips. Cool. Did we go clear or black? Uh, black. Black. Cool. Awesome. Players don't look the best on, on painted surfaces. Um, they tend to look a little bit blue. Um, black obviously looks really good and um, it suits the bike and your colour scheme pretty well. Cool. And then, yeah, just all the engine covers. Uh, all GB racing. racing. So, so they come from the kit, yeah. So, so it's four of them. There's four, yeah. Yeah, right. Most bikes are only two, eh? So you've got the alternator cover on the, on the double R's. Um, <clears throat> the clutch cover. Secondary pulse cover and the water pump cover. Awesome, cool, wicked. So we'll head back, get it all installed, and then the next steps. Okay, we're back in the garage. The tank is painted and it's hanging up to dry. I'm just gonna let that hang for another day or so just to harden, harden that two pack clear. But We've got our Aprilia back. So our RSV4 RR is back in the garage. It's just been detailed by Clean Ride Brisbane and it is sparkly clean, it looks beautiful. So we'll actually put that on the market and try and sell it. We'll get this bike running on the next couple of days, but let's focus on finishing this bike. I've got too many bikes. Um, so let's put, I think we might start with putting the engine covers on. So let's unpack them and, and put them straight on. Okay, just a little bit of blue Loctite. We're gonna go down to 10 Newton meters on each of these.
Okay, so we're on to our pierce there, the really, the really cool part. Um, and this is our carbon reservoir. So this is super, super lightweight and you'd expect so from carbon, I guess. Um, but they also give you some options. They also give you three different options for the, uh, the drain angle at the bottom. So I've got to figure out how to get that in. I've got a special tool to do it. I don't know how I'm going to use it because uh, I'm not that smart, but I will give it a go. And there you go. Just by using that cool little tool, that little expander tool, you can put the, uh, the nipple in the bottom there and it just expands the hole um, for you. I used a, a tiny little bit of lubricant just to uh, let it glide in better. And it worked. Hmm. Next topic. And this is precisely why I always keep everything from every build. I had this tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of tubing from one of my Ducati builds. And now look how neat we've got that, like only maybe an inch and a half into a nice piece of carbon. RCS Corsi, Corsa Quarter 19, fully adjustable. Um, we might even take the remote adjuster off this bike here, take this off because I don't use it and might even just put it on here as well over the other side. So that looks pretty sweet. Um, we've got the engine covers that are on on both sides. I think um, we've still got to put the tank covers and we've got to put the start stop button on, but I don't think I'll put the start stop button on until it's been to BMW and I've diagnosed the electrical problem because it's going to be a whole lot easier for them just to turn the key every time they're testing it on their testing machine on their computer um, than it is to hit a button and potentially maybe think that one of this is one of the problems. So less variables I give them, the better it is for me and the cheaper it is for me. Uh, right, so let's get this fairing back on. We've got some new stickers as well, some new decals. We're gonna get them on and then we'll get it outside and show you in the sunshine. Okay, so functionally we've done everything we can now to this bike and we can't film when the bike's at BMW getting the electrics fixed. So that's really it uh, for this build. Um, we will be taking it to dyno, so I will film that in around about a month, month and a half and drop that on the channel for you to all to watch. Um, but we're pretty much going to shelve this for a little bit now. It's going to sit parked with the other bikes and we're going to move on to the next thing. So we're going to finish off our RS660 build, which is behind me. And fingers crossed we have some other new builds arriving shortly as well. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, you know the drill. Thanks for watching. <laughs>